I'm looking at a map of US counties in the lower 48 states. The data relates to the 2020 US election. If I open the attribute table, we can see that there are lots of columns, so county name, state name, and so on, votes for each party. But I don't have a column indicating the winning party in each county. But that's what I want to map by. So here's how I would do it. We do have votes for each party. So we have a column for votes for GOP, the Republican Party, and votes DEM for the Democratic Party. So we can use that to categorize. And I'll show you how. Double click on the layer itself. From symbology, we go to categorized. And like I said, we don't have a value in the attribute table, which tells us whether the Republican or Democrats won. So I'll click on the value button. And here, I can expand the fields and values section. And in this case, I'm going to double click votes DOP is greater than votes DEM. So this is going to classify the, the data into those areas where the votes for the Republican Party were more than the votes for Democrats or not. And we'll get a result when I click on classify. Zero means that the votes for the GOP were not greater than the Democratic Party. One means areas where the GOP had more votes than the Democratic Party. I'll click apply, we can see the result. So let's quickly color it. I will double click on the orange. Well, I'll just select the orange actually. And I'll choose a color which I already added in, this red color. And for the Democratic Party, I'll choose a blue which I already chose. And I'll click apply. The last thing I usually do here is I will just make sure none of these two are selected. I'll just click down here and I will click on the drop down configure symbol. I'll click simple fill and then stroke color. I'm going to change to white and 0.1 thickness and click OK and apply. And that's how we can map categories that don't appear in our data just by using a simple expression.